Today I'm inside the Museum of the Bible and Archaeology at New Orleans Baptist Theological Seminary. The museum features several archaeological treasures, including ancient Hebrew scrolls of the Old Testament, replicas and images of papyrus manuscripts of the New Testament, facsimiles of major Greek manuscripts of the New Testament, Latin manuscripts of the Bible, a leaf from a real Gutenberg Bible from the 15th century, a large collection of English Bibles from the Tyndale onward, including a second edition KJV from 1617, and archaeological artifacts from Israel. Just as the scriptures are vital to our history of faith, so is prayer. And as we approach this year's annual meeting, we want to tell you about a few ways you can be praying for our upcoming time together this summer, right here on the Road to New Orleans, presented by New Orleans Baptist Theological Seminary. Thanks for joining us again this week on The Road to New Orleans, presented by New Orleans Baptist Theological Seminary. This week, I've got Ray Swift with the Louisiana Baptist Convention with us. Ray, thanks for joining us. You bet, Jonathan. So glad to be here. And today, we're going to be talking about prayer. You're kind of the, the point guy for the prayer room and prayer at the annual meeting. So let's talk about the need for prayer for the annual meeting and how people can pray leading up to the gathering. Absolutely. Yeah, well, I don't want to overemphasize prayer, but at the same time, I don't want to underemphasize prayer. So uh, prayer obviously can be a part of what we do before we go to the convention, but also along uh, the convention time. And so we have a dedicated area at the convention center that people can come in and uh, they can spend time praying as as few as a uh, few minutes, but as, as even extended time if they desire to do that. So I'm taking our president's theme of serving the Lord and serving others and going you know, to parallel that with John chapter 17, where we begin praying for ourselves, we pray for others, and then ultimately we pray for our Southern Baptist Convention. And the idea, again, out of that chapter is that the Lord will bring us uh, together as one, that we will all that we will do will move forward in unity for the purpose of the gospel so that Jesus Christ can be glorified and be lifted up. All right, so uh, how can people be a part of that? I mean, you mentioned that there's going to be a dedicated space for prayer at the annual meeting. I guess, uh, obviously, they can go online and sign up in the volunteer space at sbcannualmeeting.net slash volunteer and just sign up to be part of the prayer room, right? Exactly, exactly. And they would be able to go on there, sign up, put their name, and just, uh, they can choose. And especially, I would ask them to choose to be a part of the prayer room. And then I'll receive that information and then move forward to schedule them for a time. So we're looking from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday to staff the prayer room uh, for all those days. Yeah. And, and they don't have to be in there the whole time. You can, do, like you said, I mean, you can do just a, an hour or 30 minutes or whatever it may be, whatever time that you can give toward prayer at the annual meeting. What are a couple things that people can pray for maybe leading up to the meeting, Ray? Absolutely. Well, we certainly want to pray for safety uh, as people begin to pr uh, travel into the convention. Obviously, people will be driving, people will be flying. Um, and then when we um, also want to be praying for our speakers, uh, that God will just anoint them, that they will be able to share uh, God's word that we need for that time. We also want to be praying for the opportunity to uh, to advance the gospel. Uh, again, this also takes place before the convention, but also during the time. And all through the reports, uh, everything that will be done in the business session, I, I'm just, Jonathan, I'm just really praying that we'll be unified, we'll be as one, and that as reports are shared and updates are given throughout the convention, that people will just be in a hearty agreement and just amen and we'll just continue to move forward in the work of the, that God's called us to do through the convention. Absolutely. And that's, that's a great prayer. That's my prayer as well. I know many of those uh, watching at home, that's their prayer too. So Ray, would you do us a, a favor and close this out today on this episode of The Road to New Orleans in prayer and, and praying yes. for our annual meeting as we finish up this today's episode? Absolutely. Be glad to do that. Our Father, we do bow before you this day, and Lord, we're grateful and we're blessed for this avenue of prayer. Uh, we're thankful for the reminder that you're always, always listening to the prayers of your children. 
And so, Lord, as we have been and we will continue to pray for the 2023 Southern Baptist Convention, Lord, we ask for safety and for people as they begin to um, make reservations and coordinate all the things that will be involved with that. Lord, I pray for every committee. I pray for every individual. I pray for every report. Lord, I pray for all the information that will be shared there at the convention, that God, as we read in John chapter 17, that indeed we will be unified. Lord, we would um, we would draw, draw together as one and for the purpose of advancing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray above all that those in New Orleans, but uh, across the world will see us as, as, as one, will see us as glorifying our heavenly father. And Lord, we pray this prayer in the powerful, in the believing and the saving name of our savior, Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Thank you, Ray. Thanks for being with us today. And thank you for watching this episode of The Road to New Orleans, presented by New Orleans Baptist Theological Seminary.